Welcome back scholars. Today I want to show you guys the Kazakhstan government scholarship. It's actively ongoing right now and it's about to close on the 30th of this month, which is June 30th. So today I want to show you exactly how you can apply for this scholarship so that you can go right ahead and submit your application. Remember, this is a scholarship for bachelor's, master's and PhD levels. So I'm just going to walk you through exactly what you can do and how you can submit your application. First of all, as you are looking at on the screen, you get to see the list of participating institutions. Uh, there are specific universities in Kazakhstan that are responsible to admit international students under this scholarship program. So you need to take into consideration these universities when you submit your application. And this is something that you can see right here in blue. And then right there, you see a letter to the applicants worldwide who are about to apply for this scholarship. It says, Dear applicants, Ministry of Science and Higher Education of the Republic of Kazakhstan calls for foreign applicants, including persons of Kazan nationality who are not citizens of the Republic of Kazakhstan for full time studying on the bachelor, master's and PhD educational programs. So like I said, it is for all levels. So once you have graduated from high school, you can apply for this scholarship. Once you have your first degree, you can apply. You have your second degree, you can apply for PhD. So let's look at the number of scholarships that are available uh, under this program. We have bachelor's degree program. We have 490 scholarships will be awarded to international students all around the world. And then for the master's level, we have 50 scholarships that will be awarded to international students all around the world. And for the PhD level, we have only 10 scholarships that will be ad awarded. So then we have the admissions operator is high, uh, which is the Higher Education Development National Center. They are the ones responsible for this scholarship. So like I said, the application is ongoing, it's about to close. Uh, it started since the 30th of March and it's going to end the 30th of this month as you are looking at right now on the screen. It says, before submitting the documents, please read the full instructions. So you're going, you're going to come right here to this link that you see in blue. Please click the link and you're going to read all the instructions. I don't like to make my videos very long so that uh you know to give you time to go through all the information by yourself and then we get to see here the list of universities the list of universities they are also indicated there and information about the scholarship program is also indicated right here you can find it there when you click this link and then you we also have guide for international students in kazakhstan so if uh, you need to go through the guide you can go through the guide as well and then right here we have the the application form so you're going to come here fill out the application form and put all the requirement the required documents together and you can go ahead and apply for the scholarship so here for the bachelor's degree they want you to have your identity document okay so you need to have like a, a passport you need to have your maybe your national id which uh, represent your identity document and then number two is a document of the previous level of education with a transcript and a, an attachment. So you need to have your degree uh, certificate and the transcript. If you just graduated from high school, you need to have your high school uh, diploma and your high school transcript as well. And you also need to do something we call the motivational essay. You need to write a motivational essay in English or Russian or Kazan, any one that you choose, but most of it should be in english because i know most of you guys are, that i'm talking to now you are english speakers and native speakers of english in other words so number four you need to also have a letter of recommendation as well you need to get it done from your employer if you are working you can get it from your employer if you are not working you can take it from your school or your university and then you also need to have a medical certificate as well for studying in uh, kazakhstan they want to make sure that you are healthy. So you need to go through an x-ray as, as they stayed here and all of those things, HIV tests and all of that. 
to ensure that you are healthy. And then the application form, you're going to complete it. And then number seven, you have the letter of invitation from the Kazakhstan University, if applicable. It is not mandatory that you have this letter, but if you have already applied and they have issued you a letter of acceptance, you can include it in your application for the scholarship. Then as we go down to the master's level, we see that you also need to have identity document. Like I said, your national ID or your passport, and you need to have your transcript for your first degree. For example, you have your first degree. You need to have the uh, bachelor's, uh, you know, certificate and the transcript from the university you graduated from. You need to do a motivation. You need to do a letter of recommendation as well. Medical certificate application form letter of invitation from the university in kazakhstan if it's available and also international certificate confirming knowledge of a foreign language if you have that that's that's cool as well for example ayers as you see here and tofa is, is also accepted but if you don't have those documents if english is your native language is not an issue at all they also have german they have french but if English is, is your native language, then that's not a big problem for you. You can still move ahead with the scholarship. And then we come down to the PhD level where we see identity documents again. So basically it's almost the same uh, documentation, but just slight differences depending on if you are applying for the bachelor, master's or PhD level. We see here, they talk, they talk about our transcript and you know, degree certificate as well for the phd applicants that means you need you need to have your master's degree available and also your phd uh, your your sorry your bachelor's degree available as well uh, and you need to add it to your application you need to do a motivation letter of recommendation as well and medical certificate needs to be done application form letter of invitation from the university international certificate confirming your knowledge of uh, of a foreign language as we saw for all the other parts of the application so scholars these are just the basic of this uh scholarship is open now and is about to close on the 30th of this month which is june 2023 uh, i want you to look through this video or watch this video carefully and submit your application i wish you all the best my name is fred this is scholarship tv and if you are new to this channel, we are, I'm just saying that you can please subscribe to this channel because we bring the latest scholarship opportunities every week. And I guess you don't want to want to miss these amazing, great opportunities that will allow you to study in the country of your dream. We also have a WhatsApp group as well. You can join this group. And if you have problem with your scholarship applica application, we are going to be there to help you to make sure that you submit a very good scholarship application. Once again, I'm Fred. This is Scholarship TV, and I'm going to see you guys again in the next video.